yes people what is going on so today i'm going to show you three essential passing and receiving drills that you can do for football passing and receiving the ball is the very basics of football and it's essential that you master these basic skills but yeah that's enough talking from me let's get on with the first drill so the first drill we're going to go through is the basic touch and pass drill so for this drill like the other two drills you will need some cones a ball and either a wall or a rebound board for the touch and pass drill you want to place a cone around two meters away from the rebound board you then want to begin this drill by passing the ball against the rebound board while standing next to the cone as soon as the ball comes back to you you want to take your first touch to the other side of the cone and once again pass the ball against the rebound board you should then continue to repeat the process of this drill until you've completed 20 passes 10 passes on each side like i just said this is a very basic drill but it's great for working on your first touch and taking it away from your body similar to what you want to do in a match when you've got a defender close to you also look to use different surfaces of the foot throughout this drill you should look to perform five sets of this drill with each set being 20 passes The second drill we're going to go through is the weighted passing drill. So for this drill you want to place one cone approximately 4 metres away from the rebound board. You then want to begin the drill by standing next to the cone and passing the ball against the rebound board. You then want to continue to pass the ball whilst moving back and forth from the cone to the rebound board until the time is up. This drill is great for working on how much power you should apply to a pass and therefore giving you more of an understanding of what weight of pass your teammates would like to receive. Also this drill is great for working on your balance and coordination as you're constantly having to move your feet so you can set yourself for your next pass. Look to also constantly use both feet throughout this drill. You should look to perform 5 sets with each set being 30 seconds long. The third and final drill is the pass and away drill. So for this drill you want to stand approximately 2 metres directly opposite the rebound board. Before you start this drill you should place 3 cones approximately 2 metres next to you on both sides and 1 cone behind you. So for this drill you want to begin the drill by passing the ball against the rebound board and then as soon as the ball comes back to you you want to take your first touch towards one of the 3 cones. Similar to the first drill, this drill is great for working on receiving the ball and taking it away from defenders. You should look to take a heavier touch for this drill with the intention of attacking the space. For the touch behind you remember to always check your shoulder as if you were scanning the pitch in a match. Look to form five sets of this drill. One set is when you've completed two rounds of the cones. So that's three essential passing and receiving drills that you can do for football. Like I said beforehand, it's important that we master these skills as these are the very basic skills of the game. And if we can't master these skills, how do we expect to climb the football ladder? But yeah, that's enough talking from me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. But until next time, bye.